<laughs> oh part this is so easy you can't just say oh just be just be confident by yourself for yourself and your relationships with others shouldn't matter yes it does if you know you don't like a certain thing about yourself let's work on it let's let's see if we can fix it i'm super confident and i'm super positive 24 7 but i'm not i just choose not to film content for you guys when i'm not because i don't want to project my feelings and emotions onto anyone else Holy, got the dump in, yeah, boy. know what i mean bitch on it on it on it on it they all in my face when i know what i got love what you see you want to deal on my shit so high yeah i bet you catch a feel i don't know who you are if i'm keeping it real What's good, y'all? She's here. We and Nate, if you don't know, now you know, and now we're best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. <laughs> so make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. And when you do, turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video when I upload, okay? Okay. And follow me on social media because I post there outside of YouTube, okay? So today video, we are doing our hair. I'm testing out the even list tint, okay? So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. And if you are interested to see how I did this makeup, and to hear me talk about confidence or lack thereof and how to rebuild, rebrand yourself to like a whole new you. I talk a lot about my experiences and where my confidence stems from and um, things that I do when I don't feel too confident. So yeah, stay tuned if you wanna check out the video. What's good y'all? So we're doing a get ready with me. Please excuse this big ass fucking pimple. Like that is disrespectful. And oh my God, I don't have my nose ring in. So I'm looking all types of crazy, but we got, we're about to get ourselves together, okay? I'm really not talking about the makeup. The one thing I'm talking about in terms of hair products is this lace tint because I wanted to review it for y'all today just because this is my first time using lace tint. Like I don't understand how I've been doing wigs this whole entire time and i never picked up a bottle of lace tint okay, but today i'm using even tinted lace and i picked up the color medium brown and i already sprayed it on my skin i'm gonna do it for y'all because this stuff oh my god let me shake it up real quick she matches so well so i'm gonna spray it like i should spray it on my um uh, my tat hold on girl because i can't see On who does not match pretty well. Girl, and it's really good coverage because why she just cover up my tattoo like that? So I'm excited. So the way I'm gonna install the hair, I just did a whole video on it. Um, I'm only using got to be because I want to preserve my edges. I be doing hair videos all the time and I don't wanna lose my edges. And any of the makeup, it's my same makeup routine. It's in a previous video. So I will link those down in the description box for y'all. But we gonna get into talking about this lace and then I'm gonna talk about how I always remain confident, how I build my confidence once it has ever been like ruined in the past. And we just gonna talk about confidence period because that is the number one like requested question in my DMs and stuff. And I want everybody at the end of the day to feel confident AF. So let's get into it. What the freak is that girl? I think that's a little bit disregard this situation girl. I think that's some leftover um, I think that's some leftover <coughs> shit. I think that was some leftover bleach because I just bleached my knots over on this on this wig because they needed some help. So yeah, I'm just spraying this all over. I hope y'all can see. I'm not trying to spray myself. It's a like aerosol spray, so it's kind of like getting all over the place. But yeah, baby, this looks freaking good Ooh. Ooh, this is about to be like my new favorite thing so i'm gonna sit that over there while i talk to y'all about the experience i had with this wig just now all because i was going through it so basically this is the wig that i got from bgm girl hair i will pop in a little picture of what it looked like when i first installed it wore it be my face and stuff right so i love this hand in the video see i don't cop i don't cap because y'all see how i'm restalling the hair i love it in that video, I said this was the best. What I say in the video? It was the best curly hair I ever had, and it really is. So this is from Amazon. If I didn't say earlier, it will be linked in the description box below. It's only ten dollars there. Then, girl, while well, I went to the beauty supply for my mother, and then I I saw Eden spray. And I'm like, I mean, Eden. I'm like, oh, I could have bought it in store, and it's like six dollars in store, something like that. I wonder what it would look like if I spray this. Oh shit. 
Hold on, let me do it like this. Oh, purr, this is so easy. I feel like it gets everywhere, but it it really don't because it's really not even on my hands. Oh, who? This is supposed to be my new favorite thing. So, as far as convenience and um cost, it's affordable. Okay, we've wasted ten dollars on other things like nasty food before. So yeah, and I feel like it's a lot in this bottle. This is two point seven ounces. So I feel like you only need one good layer of spray. You're good. Um. It say quick dry, but it ain't the quickest because that death just, you see it, it's on my finger. So, it's not the quickest, but I feel as though comparing this to what I used to do, which is just, you know, using my makeup, this is a really good alternative. And I was watching videos and they said it only had like three shades and I was like, that sucks. That's not going to match everybody. But they just added some darker shades. They didn't add any light shades. So, if you're lighter, I'm sorry. But I feel as though... Lace tint really helps those of darker complexions, like medium browns, tans, medium browns, dark anyways, because y'all can get transparent lace and just, you know, I don't know. Y'all, I'm not saying that y'all don't need a shade, but this is very, very helpful to those who are of darker complexions versus those who really don't gotta worry about it because y'all have transparent lace and HD lace. Usually those laces already come light. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing comes brown for a foil. So I love it. And this color matches me really good because it's a little bit lighter than me, but I like my wigs to look like your scalp is supposed to be light because your natural scalp is light. So yeah. So far, I'm in love. Periana make the girls want to holler. <laughs> I don't know why I say that, but let's see what this looks like. Owen, let's see what it's giving, baby. Yes, this is matching so good. Don't worry about this right here. I'm going to put makeup on it. Please don't worried about it but like this is matching really good uh, yes right now i'm about to install this off camera because i already have a video on it and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna talk to y'all about the trials and tribulations i went through when i was bleaching my knots okay so i'm gonna come back and it's gonna be laid and then we're gonna get into making it look good okay so then we have to fix that situation so what you're gonna do is get some of your favorite concealer that matches your skin tone so i'm using kiss um and it's in the color toffee so i'm just gonna get this tiny brush this used to be my um eyebrow concealer brush she were a flat and i'm only gonna use a little bit of concealer because you really don't need much to do your part and you just have to be very like steady hand and get right on your part. You don't wanna really get on the hair. And I like my parts to look very like, oh, I see her part. You know what I'm saying? I used to not do that. I'm gonna put a picture of like how people be doing their hair, like the parts. I don't like that. It looks like it's giving wig. I know your parts on your scalp aren't this fat, but I would like to see my part like in my pictures. Like I want to see my part when I'm far away. You know? And you just want to get the back of your comb, your rest of comb, and like basically massage the product in. Yeah, let me tell y'all about what I was going through with this damn wig though, girl. Tell me why I over bleached my, my knots. I over bleached them to the point where all of this was brown. Like, it wasn't no black hair no more, girl. I was like, oh my God, I ruined this wig, but I was determined to fix it. So I remember that I had this black bottle of dye when uh, I think I did a client's hair and she wanted her wig to be jet black. Because if you don't know, I customize wigs for people. Like if you send me your wig, I'll customize it and ship it back to you. So I think that's why I had that dye and thank God because I literally just got a toothbrush. Like, one like this and just 
went like that around my part and like around the front and I combed it out. I didn't even rinse my hair. It dry and when I went like this, I ain't had nothing black on my hands. So I was like, Psh, time to put a wig on. So like I said, I'm gonna go back with this and bring the excess forward just so it looks like a clean part all the way. Blend it out my finger a little bit. This looks good. This looks good. This, this looks good. Okay, this looks good. <laughs> Period, because this is my first time doing it, so I'm excited. So while I'm getting my makeup all out and situated, go ahead and like the video. While you're here, baby girl, baby boy. Go ahead and like the video and tell me in the comments down below where your confidence stems from if you feel this way you're a confident person because I really would love to know. I really want these sit down, talk down, like talk through videos to be very informative and like discussion based. I sound like I'm in school, but I be wanting to talk to y'all, okay? So talk to me, Why not? I'm just getting out all my brushes. So we can do this in makeup on the show. Boom. A lot of people would be in my comments asking me like, why are you so confident? How did you get so confident and things of that nature? And if I had to take a, hold on, because I'm really running out of this primer. And this is my favorite primer. I can use my jelly primer because I like that too. But I don't know. This is just my favorite. I'm going to add a little bit of that primer because I don't feel like I have enough primer. I need to go to Sephora. I'm trying not to spend all my coin because I'm trying to hit a new savings goal. But obviously... My makeup collection is trying to ruin that because you walk in a Sephora and get three things and come out spending a hundred and twelve dollars. And that was just disrespectful. That was very like <laughs> that was very specific. But anyways, if I had to take a guess of where I believe my confidence stems from, I think it comes from like my childhood and how I was raised and how my family and like family friends and close friends and stuff spoke to me and about me. I think that's really where it came from. And the activities that my mom like threw me in from a itty bitty baby. I think that all like goes into it, you know? So like for example, my mom tells me, oh, I'm so pretty, I'm so beautiful, I'm so smart, I'm so intelligent, I'm so this, I'm so that all the time. You know, like, Yesterday, my aunts came over because yesterday was, um, what am I saying? Yesterday was Mother's Day. And as soon as my aunt came in, she was like, oh my God, I love your hair. Like yesterday, I still had the butterfly feet and braids. She was like, I love your hair. Like we, com we, um, we compliment each other a lot. And I think that's very helpful when it comes to your self-esteem and your confidence because you go out into the real world and people don't like to give compliments all like that and if they do they're backhanded compliments like oh you are so pretty for a brown team girl get the fuck out my face you know like it's none of that in my in my house well it's, it's some other stuff that comes with my household but for the most part we don't do no backhanded compliments we give a compliment we mean it and it's coming from a very good place you know what i'm saying like i've just heard that all the time from my dad from you know my mom's side and my dad's side because my parents split up when i was like four years old i just heard that a lot like you're so beautiful you're so smart i always did really good in school it's not just about like compliments that are in terms of your physical traits and whatnot it's it's about like you're so thoughtful you're so considerate you're so intelligent you're doing so good in school you oh my god you into all these extracurricular activities you you got a scholarship program like it's just compliments over and over again. I'm not saying that they made my head big because let's, if we talk about how my grandma talks to people in our family, she always got something smart to say. She's like the opposite for real. For real. Like, I'm not, going, I'm not saying that she don't get compliments because she does. But she also was a type to say that, like, I'm going to tell you little things that I know you're going to hear in school. Like... So when they say it to you, you'll know how to respond. Or I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying that I'm gonna do the same with my kids because her comments used to like hurt my feelings sometimes. Like she would always talk about my unibrow. Or my my grandma don't like nobody nose shape. Like she always called me bubble nose. Like she 
think people know is just be ugly. She's talking about herself too. But I don't know. That's just how my grandma is. She's very blunt. She's going to say what's on her mind as soon as she thinks it. She's not going to hold nothing back. And yeah, that's just how she is. But other than that, like, she can, she can, she can take what she dish out. And after dishing something out to you, she's also going to like hype you up. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's a good balance. I can't find my eyebrow brush to save my life. Like, my concealer brush. I don't know where she had that. Oh, actually, she may be in here. This just goes to show I have. Yep, she's in here. This just goes to show I have too many damn bags of makeup because I can't keep up. I feel as though if you are in a household with people who love to dish out compliments and just hype you up and give you constructive criticism as well, but you know, just always tell you things that you're good at. And I am blessed to say that I receive a lot of positivity from my family while growing up now i think the same can go for those who experience very negative um childhood experiences when it comes to their families and the things that they say and whatnot i think the same exact way that can hype me up and that added to my confidence i think that can also um deteriorate one's confidence and just make them feel terrible about themselves and if y'all have experienced those type of situations in those childhoods i'm so so sorry and i feel for you and i hope you've overcame your circumstances because that's a tough thing to have to deal with especially being a child like that's not okay if you've experienced like childhood trauma where someone's always like comparing you to someone else like why you ain't doing the things that they doing that's annoying that can that can make someone feel very very bad about themselves hold on i can never talk when i'm doing my eyebrow you know that can make them feel like damn what am i good at or like dang what do i have to offer or like I will never be as good as this person. I always have to live up to this this person's expectations because I'm the middle child or I'm the I'm the I'm the youngest or something. I don't know, girl. All I know is what I'm trying to say is or even if you're not being compared to someone else, even if like your parents or whoever raising you is just wild by saying all these type of things, like like um or like, oh, you, you, this, you, that, you know, like downplaying how you look, or downplaying what you're doing in school, downplaying on like what you're investing in and what your hobbies are, things of that nature. Like, that's never gonna work out for you, or you ain't gonna make no money doing that. Like, all those little slick ass comments add up, and that can really mess with somebody's head, and it's not okay. Like, I really feel for people who have gone through that because I, I literally cannot imagine. I definitely think. To wrap this part up, I definitely think that your childhood has a lot. Your childhood, the way you was raised, and the way people around you spoke to you and spoke about you to others, that's very important. Um, I think all that plays a part into the confidence that you have today. Like, my, my family rave about me to others. Anytime I check Facebook, my mom, my grandma, finding stuff, finding little pictures or companies that are posting me and they raving about me. They, they posting like old stuff that happened like years ago. They still talking about stuff like, everybody in my family know when I got something going on because they run name out. And, but they always like talking really, really well about me and highly of me and I love that. And that just boosts me up like, oh, like pretty. Like I'm the SHIC, like my family proud of me. Like it's lit, like yeah. And like, I think a lot of your confidence comes from the relationships you have with people. So, not only my family, but my friends rave about me. They always say that they're proud of me and things of that nature. My boyfriend, he tells me he's proud of me every other damn day. Like, and it's so cute and it's so, uh, it's, I'm, I appreciate it so much because if it was the other way around, I would feel like hella bad. Like, dang, like, you know, like... That will freaking suck. You can't just say, oh, just be just be confident by yourself, for yourself, and your relationships with others shouldn't matter. Yes, it does. Especially if you care what those people think. Oh, my God. You got to, like, in order for you, to, like, if you're super duper confident by yourself, but what everybody else around you is saying gets to you, in order to get out of that situation you're gonna have to learn to like not care what other people think and when you care about certain people it just it it comes with it like you care about the person you care about their thoughts and their opinions and what they say to you it's like 
it's hand in hand with that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so let's get into the whole relationship with other people and how that can um, apply to your confidence. So let's talk about like relationships, significant others and things of that nature because I think that is a very important part and I can talk about being confident and not being confident in a relationship. I think that like, woo, I, that, I don't think, girl, that can weigh down on your confidence and your well-being and your mental health. Uh, it's just so much that goes into that, honey bun. So let's talk about it. I was in a relationship with someone and they were insecure. <laughs> let's talk about it. They were very much so insecure. I think I didn't get all of the um, Gatsby spray off. And it's patchy right here and I'm not liking it. So let me clean that up. Man, I was with an insecure boy and he was starting to make me insecure because of the things he was saying. So, for example, I hated the way, I'm not gonna say I hate it, but I felt as though I dressed like a little girl. And it wasn't because I didn't know how to put that shit on. It was because he was insecure within himself to think, and he's also controlling. He would think that like, I would get snatched up by somebody else if I was wearing something that looked hot. Like, even if it wasn't like, oh, girl, so much foundation just came on my face, on my lens. So let me blend this in real quick. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, my, my outfit was provocative and I was showing a lot of skin. It wouldn't even be that. It would be like, okay, it would be, it would be that. But in addition to that, it would be like a fire outfit or i'll be like should i get these shoes it'll be some jordans or something and he'll like just always have something to say like why you want those you want like follow anybody else and i would be like bro you're annoying my whole time it probably was he couldn't afford a daggone shoes and he was jealous or he just knew that i was gonna look mad good in an outfit um you know and he wouldn't want me to wear it or if i did wear it i would have to worry about him having a whole attitude for the rest of the day and not want to talk to me and all that stuff that is so controlling oh my god it's about to feel so weird with me being able to do my makeup without having my um nose ring in but yeah and as a result of him always had something to say about what i wore i just felt like i wasn't like i would always wear something really basic or something or i wasn't putting it on how i wanted to put it on just because of him i think one day we was out shopping together and you know you uh go into the dressing room and you you try things on baby this pimple needs some concealer like stop playing with me i think we was in the dressing room and i put on some like jeans that fitted me correctly and he kept suggesting that i go up a size i go up a size and i'm like i don't wear a five like or whatever I wear a three now, so whatever size I was, I was like, I don't wear the size that's above that. Like, why are you telling me to get that size that's not my size? And the whole time, homeboy just didn't want this, this cake to pop like it was popping. I'm just like, you're so annoying. That's so foul, and that's so controlling of you to even be wanting to make me reconsider my purchase or purchase another size because your lame ass can't do it or when oh your your lame stuff not getting attention from women and you want me to not get attention from men like if you confident in yourself you wouldn't even be worried about that because a confident man gonna allow not even allow he because <laughs> what is that or allow me to do something in a relationship or oh, bye but you i don't know how to say it like, another man not even gonna be worried about what that woman is wearing as long as that shit look hot and it's good and it like you know yeah they're not even gonna be worried about that because they're confident in themselves and they secure in their relationship and they don't have to worry about those issues but obviously i was experiencing the opposite the relationship i'm in now hold on and like yeah going back to the whole confidence situation it made me feel less confident because i always felt like for one i don't have control over something that i want to have control over that messes with your mental um and you know when I would tell my friends, oh, I'm probably going to wear this out. And then I come out with something other than what I'm wearing. They like, 
explain what you wanted to wear. Like, that's irritating. Like, <sighs> thank God for the growth because, baby, what the fuck was you doing? But the relationship I'm in now, I don't ever got to worry about none of that. And it's awesome because not only is that person securing themselves and in our relationship, I've grown and I know not to let nobody tell me what I can and cannot do. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, your relationships can definitely add or take away from your confidence when bitches always got something negative to say. That's annoying and it gets very old and very fast. And like, you gotta feel good around the people that you surround yourself with. I love being out with my girls. Like, my friends make me feel bomb. They always compliment me. We always compliment each other. It's always just good vibes and good energy. And uh, you know, when you when someone has a good spirit, you feel it when you're around them, and that's that's great. So if you feel as though you are lacking confidence, you need to. I feel like you need to check yourself. You need to check what you're doing. You need to check the things that you like and don't like about yourself. And you need to find ways to like fix it or deal with it in a more positive way and you also need to check the people you're around because if it's people around you making you feel some type of way then you don't need to be around them and i spoke a little bit about this in my girl talk video where i was talking about friends and women to women interactions if you are around a group of women or your peers in general because i don't want to like gender everything but if your peers in general don't make you feel like that girl when y'all go out and they always sneak this in you and talking about your insecurities and just nitpicking at you <clears throat> excuse me that's annoying and it gets very old really quick and i don't i don't think you should be around them people because those people don't got good intentions and i don't like being around people who don't have good intentions and good hearts that's just not it so Let's talk about some of the things that I spoke about earlier when I said, if you don't feel confident, you need to check a couple of things. Check yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you know you don't like a certain thing about yourself, let's work on it. Let's let's see if we can fix it. For example, let me be specific and talk about some things I don't like about myself. My freaking fupa, okay? Let's get into it. Let me show y'all because I have like the outfit to show. Right now, I'm wearing, like, leggings that I got from Zara. And you can see, I'm actually, like, holding it in right now, girl. But Aaliyah's face was talking about this, too. Like, this situation is annoying. This little style roll, my little, like, I don't have hip dips, but I have, like, love handles. Girl, all this gotta go, okay? That's something that I'm, like, low-key insecure about. It's not to the point where... I can't talk about it and I'm depressed and all that. But it is something that I'll try to hide in pictures. And you know, it's something that I told myself I'm gonna work on. I'm bringing that up just to say, like, just to note that you can't always just talk about the things you don't like. You have to start like doing things and changing your mindset and changing your actions so you can start working towards it so you can like fix it fix it jesus okay and if it's a big fix baby like i don't want to just talk about things physically but for example if you don't like something about your body and you know that like it's a procedure that you can get to change and whatnot let's work on saving that coin so we can become more confident pretty i don't care what nobody else say like do you boo you know what i'm saying or if it's something that you don't like about yourself like dang i feel like i'm a debbie downer and every time something happens i constantly like dwell on it you gotta change your way of thinking you know what i'm saying like you gotta be a little bit more positive let's let's work on that let's <sighs> this is blowing me and it's gonna blow me until i fix it but please don't 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 look at it but you know like read some self-help books like watch some videos on how to be productive and be positive and things of that nature work about like let's change the way you speak on things because the tongue is like super super strong and powerful and you can speak a lot of things into existence you can also speak a lot of bad into your life so you know i try to talk to my mom about that because she suffers from that she she dwells on things that she's going through um and she has to be dramatic about it at first because she's a leo before you know, she go into fixing stuff and getting things situated. So, whatever it is, check yourself and 
let's let's be dramatic for one day and after that let's let's fix it let's work on it because don't nobody got time for that you know what i'm saying going back into checking yourself check on what you're doing in life and to see and see if that is contributing to your confidence or like there is are you, if you are experiencing like low self-esteem because you wanted to finish college and you're still in your second or third year and you've been in college for a while you know what i'm saying let's work on getting you some tutoring let's work on maybe going to a different school that has a different curriculum curriculum that can up uh, that can apply to you and your style of learning a little bit better let's work on getting a side hustle or side job if if your reason for not finishing college is because you can't afford to take a certain amount of classes or something, whatever it is, girl, or whoever's watching this, you got to check yourself because a lot of your confidence is going to come from within and you really can't rely on someone else to fix it for you. Okay. And please don't think that I have it all understood because I don't, okay? But like I said, I have just as many insecurities as someone else. It's just the job I have and the work I do probably makes it, will make it look like I'm super confident and I'm super positive 24 seven, but I'm not. I just choose not to film content for you guys when I'm not, cause I don't want to project my feelings and emotions onto anyone else. I'm a cancer and I'm very empathetic. So I like absorb and suck in energy and feelings from others. So I know how it feels if, you know, I'm putting that energy out and somebody else is receiving it. I don't like it. So that's why y'all think I'm confident all the time. Cause when I'm not, I go ghost, you know what I'm saying? And that's when y'all be in my DM saying, girl, where are the videos? Where's the consistent queen? So check yourself. Check the progress you're doing. And see how you can fix things and check the people that are around you. Because we don't need no Debbie Downers, no negative Nancy's, none of that. Okay. So I also want to talk about, like, the things I do when I know I'm not feeling as confident. And how I, like, rebuild my self-esteem. Me personally, these are the things that work for me. I like to get cute because it automatically puts me in a good mood and I just look like a baddie and I feel like a baddie, you know what I'm saying? And I partake in a lot of self-care. I like to get my nails done, toes done, get a new wig, install that thing, you know what I'm saying? Um buy things for myself sometimes i'll like go shopping or i'll get food <laughs> if i'm gonna be completely honest with y'all i just do whatever makes me happy i go out i live life I, I experience new things new experiences with people that i love i call up my man and my best friends because they always make me feel good about myself and things of that nature and i get my mind off of whatever is irritating me so i tend to throw myself into work if i can fake it a little bit and do a couple of videos um that's exactly what i'm gonna do so those are the things that i do you know and it's not what everybody do unfortunately some people like throw themselves into other things like drinking and smoking and stuff. I don't have time for that. I don't do that. But everybody got like different cope, coping mechanisms. Girl, what am I saying? Everybody has different coping mechanisms and whatnot. But those are the things that I do for myself. And if that's not working, then I like really be like, hold on. And I take time to myself, like I said, because I don't like putting that on other people. And I don't like constantly talking to other people about my problems. I take a minute to myself. I'll get my journal. Hold on, let me get my powder. I feel stuffy. I hate, um, I'm probably loud. I feel stuffy. I hate allergy season. Like, I hate it. Like, I'm really doing this video because even though i haven't necessarily been depressed uh, i think i have been depressed before actually it just didn't last long but i know a lot of people who have and i know a lot of people who 
that depression lasted for a while um and it sucks when you around people or you close to people who aren't feeling as confident as they normally are because you can just sense it and it's just like baby i want you to feel like your normal self like i began so emotional because Especially if you my friends or my family. I want you to feel just as good as I'm feeling or better. I think in the past, I took the time to learn how to do something new. Or to like, I would throw myself into a new um, a new activity. Or like a little um, hobby. I would do that. Because like I said, I like getting my mind off of things when I'm not feeling that good. I don't really know if I had much more to say <coughs> about the topic, but I know y'all probably want to see how the rest of the makeup comes together. So I'm going to continue to like film me doing it, but it's probably just going to be sped up because I don't want to talk y'all heads off too much and I don't want the video to be too long. But just know my babies who are not feeling like their true selves or not feeling as confident as they used to, or you haven't really ever felt confident from jump, just know that it's not always going to be that way, okay? Like, <laughs> a change going to come, okay? Yeah, it's a really good movie at this point. I'm embarrassed. But don't, basically what I'm saying is like, don't be too, too harsh on yourself, and don't take yourself off the game yet. Because it's coming. I promise you, it's coming. Okay, y'all, so I think that wraps up this video, okay? Um, I wish my hair was a little bit more dry, but it'll come together. Um, all in all, I really like the lace tint, and I think this no baby hair look looks really nice and neat, and it kind of gets, like, sophisticated, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm messing with it. I like it. I do not like my lip combo, okay? Like, y'all see how much I was messing with it. 
I'm about to continue trying to mess with it because my lip promo got to be perfect. The brown lip liner I used at first, the new one that I opened, has like a purple undertone when I do not like it. I like my nudes and my browns to be brown, not purple. Like, it's not giving. But, yeah. yeah talk to me in the comments down below because I really want to talk about y'all's experience and whatnot. So, I'm going to start rambling. And I'm signing out. Thanks for watching, y'all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, mamas. Hold it. Got the dumpy, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it.